Welcome, welcome, welcome to <clears throat> Friday Night Magic. I'm doing a single elimination, 8-4 draft. This pack is chock full of goodness. Shipbreaker, I cannot, simply cannot pass that card. Griptide is great. Hopeful, Idelion is good. Uh, Thassa's Emissary is great. But I shall take the Shippeth Kraken. Pardon me, Ship Breaker Kraken. All right, Hammer of Perforos. I don't like that card. Um, we'll take the Nimbus Naiad. Uh, other noteworthy cards, Cavern Lampert is great just because of uh, Intimidate. And then there's Lash of the Whip. Apparently my dog wants out, but we'll take the Naya for similar evasion. Can only assume that somebody is making food down there. Um, I'm gonna take this cavern. Aqueous form is good, but it'll be around later. I'm gonna try to do black and blue. I do enjoy black blue. We shall take the dissolve here. Divine verdict is good. Uh, Precinct chimera is good, but dissolve is also good. Sorry. Do, do, do. Got solid creature base here. Uh, we're not dead set in black right now. <clears throat> um, let's just take the hopolite because. Hoplite, I don't want to deal with it. There's an outside chance we find ourselves in blue, but I doubt it. Or white. White, I mean. Wave Crash Titan, very, very good. Here's another Aqueous Form. But I'm going to take the Triton Fortune Hunter. 2-2 two, two, uh, draw a card with any target. I mean, blue-white heroic would be uh, <clears throat> something pretty neat as well. But a pretty bad uh, run. Uh, I'm gonna take the temple. I don't. I don't have any uh, anything in that pack that I really want. We'll take a Vanquish the Fowl. I almost never play it. But on the outside chance that we end up blue-white. And we don't get any good removal. Um, we'll take the sentry there. Red white just might be open. <clears throat> it's a really late a crow and hoplite. We don't have any good pieces really besides the crow and the favored. So I'm not feeling that. We got the best stuff in blue. We need some grip tides, some voyages ends, some thassas, you know, the normal stuff. <clears throat> so how was uh, everybody's Thanksgiving? 
I hope it was Turkalicious. And if you don't eat meat, I hope it was Tofurkalicious. Huh? Right now, we don't have a heck of a lot going on. Let's see what pack two, pack two can provide us some direction. Fleece Man Lion, that does not provide. I hate passing that card, but it's not that big of a deal. We'll take the favorite hoplite here, just because there's, I mean, a null is around, will be around later. God's Willing is good too, but we still need to figure out what colors we are even going to be in here. The only color we know for sure we're not going to be in is green. Oh boy. Let's just take the sea lock monster here. All right, now we need to get down to business. <clears throat> We're definitely in blue. Question is what other colors do we want? Green seems to be open. Red. Um Let's let's take the Voyaging Seder here. It I can pretty much say we're not gonna be in black. Oh boy. Good blue card. Triton Tactics. Can be a blowout. Port of Bortreo. Well, I'm fairly certain we're not gonna be a red. I feel like I should also be just as certain that we're not gonna be in black. It's based on what what I'm seeing here. Really need some divine verdicts or some some removal. Uh, we'll take the chosen by Heliod. It's a nice little. And around to activate heroic. So is fate foretold. We might be looking at blue white here. I still don't have much of a deck put together here. We're no closer. We're really no closer to uh, building a, a good solid deck than I was five picks ago. I'm not the best at reading signals, but remember too, you know, it's always a lot easier to to read stuff when you're not trying to make the picks, right? When you're when you're watching it. So you know, cut a brother some slack. I did two of these this week. We'll see how they go over. Yeah, I uh, do a bit of traveling for Thanksgiving. Not not a ton. I move around uh, to a couple different families. Ooh, I like the Horizon Chimera. I'm going to take it. And going to reopen the green blue opportunity we're going to be taking probably blue white first pick and then uh by let's see green if it opens up oh battleized hoplite very very good card for blue white that does help We've got um, one, two, three. Uh, 
heroic related cards. And three ways to trigger them. Four ways to trigger them. So that's okay. Uh, I'd love to see another Battleized Hoplite or um, really like to see uh, Wingsteed, the 2 2 flying white heroic. Any other like better heroic cards? I have kind of the The dregs waiting a while on these picks. That's uh, annoying. I only get this delay with the beta, though, for some reason. I can't tell you why. As in, I don't know why. Uh, let's take another null. What the hell? I have done good running like several annuls in a deck. So I'm working out the uh, gameplay series for you guys, the uh, FNM series. I don't, I don't ever foresee filming Paper Magic just because I've watched videos of that, and it is like, I mean, it's very difficult to get the right angle. You can barely see the cards. At least with Moto, uh, you can see the cards, and you know that matters. Well, right now I have Last Breath as a removal. I really need some Divine Burning. Uh, or Bounce Spells. Nine creatures, eight other right now. Not great. Uh, we want to have... Okay, this is good. We've got some good stuff here. Um, I like Battlewise Valor. I'm not first picking that, though. Agent of the Fates is really frustrating. I have to cut that. I just can't deal with that card. I don't have anything to kill it. Say what you guys want. We got a Phalanx Leader. Very, very good. I just can't deal with the Agent of the Fates. I can't. It's too damn good. Um, one Phalanx Leader is really good. Two is great. But sneaking one in matters. We haven't even hit our 23 yet, and there's certainly cards I'd like to cut. So, looking to improve. Oh, Griptide is so good. But I like the Ordeal of Heliod, too. I'm going to take the Ordeal. Because <clears throat> we have so many heroic cards. does pain me to pass that Griptide after I've been complaining basically the entire draft that I need removal. I hope I see one of those Nyads later. I just passed two in a row. Cheap Flyers, man. That's what I want to see. Vaporkins... Uh, now we're on what pick 35 something like that roughly so we're probably not going to see any good heroic cards left I do have several but um, not a ton certainly not the ones you really really want but we got some stuff going on here we rallied the first five picks there, picking up two ordeals, a phalanx leader. Now if we can pick up a few more flyers. Oh, Dauntless Onslaught is really good for us. God's Willing is really good for us, too. 
starting to come together a little bit. Fingers crossed. We still need um, more creatures. Yeah, I like Aqueous Forum, but I think Omen Speaker here. I always like to have at least one of those, right? Should I throw the uh, Temple of Triumph and a couple red mana in there and just throw these other Hoplites and just call it a Hoplite deck? Uh, Ray of Dissolution's okay there. Let's now go to sort by converted mana cost. We're not going to find, probably not going to find any playables. I'm going to cut the Vanquish and the Benthic Giant. Oh, chosen by Heliod I like. Well, I'd cut an null for that. I just like it because it's card draw, you know? This is not great. Uh, 12 creatures is probably on the light side, but... Yeah, all right. Well, our win conditions are basically getting in early and often with a uh, heroic creature, resolving the shipbreaker kraken. Well, actually, monstrousing the shipbreaker kraken. Um, there's also, like I said, there's also that. Well, getting in early and often. What I mean by that is just you know, turn one hoplite. And then every turn after that, pumping it, basically, you know? Or Nimbus uh, putting the Nyad on top of one of these. I really wish I would have been able to grab another Nyad flyer, you know? But we've got really good pump spells. Our four spot is really weak. The Breaching, breaching Hippocamp is just not a great card. But I can't cut it because I need a creature. I could get creative and put these other two hoplites in. But I don't know. I don't know what you cut, you know? And they're not even heroic. If I end up playing somebody with a ton of enchantment creatures, you know, I've got three nulls for them. I don't love this deck. It lacks some of the... Uh, the solid blue things that you would want, right? <clears throat> it's got very little evasion. It's got very little. I've got no bounce spells. One lowly dissolve. But I do have some of the good things that blue has. I have card draw. I have uh, the better heroic spells or creatures. Check that. Couple little combat tricks. Sea Lock Monster is fine. Um, be better if it was Trample, you know? We'll have to see how it plays out, I guess. Hopefully, I can win a match for you guys. I'd like to attach. One match. I'm going to start off by doing one match on every draft. So it'll be the draft and a match, and then I'll put in the comment section below basically how I how I fared. Um, and I'll work my way up to the three game matches. And I am listening to you guys, and you know, give me some time to work work it out, like you know, the right way and. Because I really don't want to be uploading like seven videos every week where I have like the draft, 
and subsequent matches. I'd like to just keep them in one video for uh, people that want to watch gameplay. Um, I'll certainly lose more than I'll win. But I think you get good value in uh, watching somebody draft a bad deck, too. <laughs> Boy, I would have loved a pack one, pick one to be agent of the fates because I would have built around it. It's definitely a baller card to have. But, it is what it is. Actually, my first match is about 90% completed right now. And I don't think I'm going to upload, I'm not going to do a bunch of editing, and it's just going to be the gameplay. It's just so much easier that way. Um, for those of you that like gameplay and like hanging out. Hoping to make the uh, gameplay video more like my stream, where it's like just, uh, you know, you guys and me hanging out and having a good old time. So what's new? I do read all your comments, by the way. So when you guys tell me things, um, you know, I'm thinking about you. Definitely need to do a uh, new Hex video. The last Hex video I did was not very good. I'm working on that. I'm working on the gameplay videos. It's it's nice to stream, but if you guys really like um, gameplay, you know, let me know. Uh, some people asked about rare drafting and what's my take on it. Well, I think rare drafting for like a $5 rare is, I mean, kind of dumb because you're paying 15 bucks to draft, right? Uh, rare drafting for a $10 or a $15, you know, if you ever have an opportunity to basically, maybe maybe your pack one, pick one, you don't see anything you like, but there's a $5 card there. There's nothing wrong with taking it, in my opinion. Um, if you can pay for two-thirds of your draft and two picks that were meaningless anyway, why the hell not, you know? I'm listening to some jams on my headphones, but not on the computer. All right, I'll give you guys uh, the first match. And then, because that really is, I think, enough to see how the deck plays, you know. I might just lose the first two rounds, but I'm still going to upload it because it's, you know. What the hell? I won the die roll. Yes, I will play first. Yes, I will keep. Turn one, Hoplite. Turn two, chosen by Heliod. So, up to a mediocre start. Unless we have a Scorpion here. I could get, I could get stymied by some stuff like that, you know? We really want to overrun if we can. But two, a 2-5 two hanging out there won't be easy to get rid of either. Come on, no 2-drop. You know, I don't really wish... Um, 
like bad bad game, you know, bad mana or whatever on anybody. But I don't care when it happens. I don't feel bad for someone when it happens to them because it happens to me all the time. It's just part of the game, you know? For playing a uh, blue-green heroic, it's not going to be a great matchup for us. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about that. If he was leading out, it would be more of an issue. Island. Ah. Okay. I'm down with that trade. Ah, huzzah. A null. He was all excited to cast that too, I could tell. Does like super fast mana tap. Alright. We're gonna go fate foretold on this guy. Draw a card and it's a land. I was hoping it would be an island so that I could Triton Tactics it these guys later, but I could really use that extra island. Another Agent of Horizons. Okay. Alright. Ray of Dissolution. I based on the fact these played quite a few um Quite a few artifacts or enchantment spells. Um, now we're going to use Triton Tactics here. This is going to be pretty nasty, folks. 3 3, 4 4, 5 5, 5 11, and a 3 6. All right. Hopefully we can get something to uh, clear the board and come through for... All right, game one win, folks. Game one. Down the hatch. What we had next? A Plains, another Plains, a Last Breath. Do I need to look at how many islands I have here? Damn. No. Um, I'm going to cut the Last Breath for another Null. That seems smart. Um, yeah, all right. Two nulls. We'll keep it. Because we know he's got some early potential artifacts. Turn three, turn four. Artifacts are enchantments. We have a null. We can uh, turn two Battlewise Hoplite, which would be really nice. All right. We're going to do that. Hopefully we can uh, pull another heroic creature. But I'm going to leave my null open now. All right. Ah. Uh, all right. We can get through that with a dauntless onslaught. I don't mind doing that here because we need to trigger this heroic. We've got some pretty beefy creatures coming up anyway. 
Oh, he didn't uh, block it. I'll wait. I've got enough man on hand to play Sea Lock Monster into Shipbreaker Kraken if we get that far. I don't know why he didn't block there. I mean, he doesn't need mana, right? Oh, Nylia's Emissary. Request denied. This is probably a good matchup for us. If uh, That's already the third um, enchantment creature that, that I've seen. So, you know. Uh... And that Nylia's Emissary is pretty good. 3-3 Trampler. I'm happy to kill that. Okay, Volpine Goliath. It's not a huge issue. Why is it not a huge issue? Because I have a Shipbreaker Kraken. <laughs> Right? That's what I say. Shipbreaker Kraken solves a lot of problems. Pretty even in life, 20 to 14 right now. I got in early. I should be able to lock the board down. Um, he could have a time to feed, which would trade to Shipbreaker. Um, he could have Savage Surge, things like that, that could win a trade but I'm pretty sure this next turn I'm gonna attack um ah time to feed he killed my hopolite okay Isn't it funny how, like, you can tell I play a lot of magic, right? I mean, I totally called that. And I hadn't even seen one yet, right? Okay, um, next turn we can monstrous this baby. He's got, uh... He's definitely got um, Savage Surge mana up to untap his Vulpine Goliath. So what I'm going to do... And yeah, I am playing a little, right? But I only need to make it till next turn, and it's over. Well, I need to make it till the Shipbreaker Kraken goes monstrous. That's why I'm really surprised that he timed to fed on my Hoplite. He probably would have been better off trading, don't you think? That's even worse now, because when you, uh, when you bestow it on there, it's going to get tapped down. Right? One, two, three. You really can't let uh, Shipbreaker crack and go monstrous. Unless he's got a time to feed now. There we go. And... This attack should take him down to one. Swinging for 16. <laughs> you know, I probably should have uh, used that Dauntless Onslaught earlier. It's six to one right now. Um, this does not look good for him. This should be it. 
I don't know what he could have here, but you really can't let a shipbreaker go monstrous, folks. You know that. A voyage's end. Ah, still over. Still over, son. Um, well, just to be safe here, he could have a Savage Surge. Yes, he could. Pure skill. Yeah. Oh, he's being a sore loser. Oh, I hate when people are salty. I lose plenty at this game, and I'm never salty. Now I'm now I'm trying to. Oh. Now he's whining about it not being skill. Well, he should have fed on the Kraken. That's what I told him. That is skill. But, uh, so we win. Yeah, he's being a baby. Wah. <laughs> so anyway, while I'm fighting with my, uh, I won't put his, uh, I won't put his name on there. Um. You must be referring to my uh, rating. Well, anyway, I am happy to beat this guy anyway. So, we won. We won a match pretty handily. White, blue, aggro. Is a is a thing. Uh, he's talking junk in the other window. Whatever. Anyway, so this has been FNM. Probably not even uploaded on F. <laughs> Just because I want to give you guys some gameplay and combine it with drafts, and I will of course let you guys know in the comment section how uh, I fared out, and. Uh, you know, we'll see you next Friday. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of our most popular playlists. Everything from MTG vlogs, gameplay video, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. And if you haven't yet, here's your opportunity to crush that subscribe button to join the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channel on YouTube. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.